Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Holmes, and today we're going to discuss how screen time affects sleep, especially those with ADD and ADHD, because sleep is absolutely imperative for proper brain function. This is something that can actually be applied to anyone who is having some sort of sleep problem. I work with a lot of kids, a lot of kids with ADD, ADHD, OCD, ODD, autism, or anywhere in that alphabet soup that we like to call spectrum disorders. One of the most common complaints I get from parents is that their child's not sleeping well. They either wake up a lot in the middle of the night or they don't fall asleep very well initially in the beginning. So I start to ask about bedtime habits. And these kids love to tell me about their favorite video games. They like to tell me about their favorite TV shows, their games on their iPhone, their iPad, or any game that's on some sort of screen that they enjoy playing. Screens will directly affect your sleep and that's what we're going to dive into during this video. So to start off, we're going to talk about light. Our lives literally revolve around the sun and that has all to do with the types of light that's being emitted. So in the morning, what type of colors do we usually see? We see more of those blue hues. You can see the wavelength right here, how they're very frequent. They're close together and they're very stimulatory. That's the idea when you wake up and you want to be stimulated, you want to be bright eyed and bushy tailed. What this does is it actually stops the production of melatonin in a part of our brain called the pineal gland. This, a lot of people understand that melatonin helps us sleep. We don't want a lot of melatonin in the morning so that we can actually wake up. We should have low melatonin and high cortisol. This is, has a lot to do with that blue light that's being emitted. Now when we want to go to sleep, what type of lights do we usually see? In the evenings, as the sun is setting, we get those beautiful oranges, the reds, the pinks. This wavelength, then we've got the long and slow wavelengths. This will actually enhance the pineal gland to produce melatonin so that we can relax and go to sleep. Now melatonin should be high and cortisol should be low so we can start to relax and go to sleep. So other than the sun, what else gives off blue light? Screens. Screens give off huge amounts of blue light. That blue light, while we're trying to relax at night, we decide to sit down in front of the TV and watch a show so we can get ready for bed. That blue light is actually stimulating your brain. It's causing a decrease in melatonin. It could potentially increase your cortisol and it's going to interrupt your sleep. Sleep is extremely important. We spend almost half of our lives sleeping. Sleep will enhance something called neuronal plasticity. That is our ability to learn, to change, to adapt to situations. And when we don't have enough sleep, what we see is a decrease in neuronal plasticity, as well as a decrease in something called our working memory, which has a lot to do with our frontal lobe. Kids and adults with ADD and ADHD have, usually have a poor function functioning frontal lobe, that's our executive function center. It's what helps us make our good decisions, have appropriate behavior, think before speaking, controls motor function. All that takes place in the frontal lobe and your frontal lobe doesn't work very well when you don't get a good night's sleep. So when we look at this with parents, oftentimes what I'll suggest is an hour before bed decrease screen time, whether that means shutting off screens altogether or changing the hue on the screen so that we get more of those red and orange colors instead of the blue. For people who absolutely have to watch TV before bed, I often recommend getting rose colored glasses because that those rose colored glasses will change the hue of the TV to more of those reds, those oranges, and those type of colors that are supposed to change the wavelength so we can enhance melatonin production. If you need white noise, there are always white noise machines, and you can always try reading your child to sleep instead of a TV show. So those are my suggestions. So if anyone's having a hard time sleeping, if you want more information on stuff like this, please visit our website at ibrainandbody.com. Thanks guys and have a great day.